tonight. From M&T Bank Stadium in Baltimore, Maryland, it's time for Monday Night Football on EA Sports. Chesapeake Bay gleaming in the distance. We are inside m and Bank Stadium near the Inner Harbor in Baltimore, Maryland. The two teams emerging from their respective tunnels a minute ago to the approval of this Baltimore crowd. They're all set as their Ravens will match up with the Kansas City Chiefs. With Charles Davis, as always, I'm Brandon Gordon. And Charles, you talk about storylines in this one. I think it begins and ends with our two. As of this morning, summer officially over. It's time for autumn football, and we're underway on EA Sports. This taken in about four yards deep, and he opts to not bring this one out. The first drive will start at the 25. Now we get our first peek at the Ravens offense, and at the helm, of course, the most valuable player of the NFL in 2019, Lamar Jackson. Before the game, when I said hello to him, I tried to give him a little dap, but he wouldn't give me any, and I thought he was snubbing me, then I realized he's keeping all that flame to himself. How about the week he had last week? AFC Offensive Player of the Week. Throwing now. Jackson on first down. Now he'll escape to his left. He'll run it. of the infraction there. They're backed up here with a first and 20 now after the holding penalty. Jackson going to give this one to Edwards. And not much there at all. He's up only to about the 16-yard line. He'll wind up getting a yard on the game's first play at second down. A look at the numbers last week for Edwards. 16 carries, 57 yards. They've won two straight games and have done it with the running game as the focal point of their offense. So in this contest, I don't think about doing anything else. I continue to ride the hot hand that I've established and lead with the runners. They follow up the first down one yard run with a minimal gain of two. Third down. Here's Jackson on third and long. Going deep here for Bryant. And unable to connect, incomplete. Now give them credit, they took their shot, but it's gonna bring up fourth down. And there shouldn't be any surprise at all when we watch him flash his arm. Easy motion, easy action, and that ball flies downfield. He was called on three times in the win last week as his first one here's away. Here's Hill on the return. A punt of 46, a return of five. And it's Chiefs football, first and ten. Here comes Patrick Mahomes leading out the defending champions. And Patrick Mahomes, of course, the Pro Bowl quarterback in his fourth season now. Well, partner, normally if a guy's touchdown passes ball in half, the first thing you'd say is, he really didn't have a very good season, did he? Well, it's true. Mahomes dropped from 50 touchdown passes the year before to just 26 last year. But remember, he had a knee injury and missed a few ball games, and he still remained in the conversation as the best quarterback in the NFL. And yeah, that's just a solid, good physical run there as he motors for nine yards. Decided to hand it off that time on the run pass option. Appeared to be an easy decision. Just gave it inside. Nice steady game. The previous run, good for nine. Here's second and a yard. And they run the option on second down. And he'll get it into enemy territory just across midfield at the 49. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. And the first from the gun, it's Mahomes. Steps away to his left. He's going to take off with it. 
And he goes down, but not before getting this inside the 25. But big yardage there on the scramble. It gets him a first down. Partner, it's often the man coverage is easier for a quarterback to run against. You get your receivers going downfield. Those guys are staying with them, and oftentimes they have their back to the quarterback, which opens up a lot of space and room, and they don't even know that he's taken off with it. What a big-time pickup on that play. Mahomes now on first down. Looking for his running back, and he's got it. A strong, broken tackle on that one. And then they get him to the ground, just shy of the 15. Brings up second and four at the 17-yard line. Throwing again on second down. Mahomes. This pass going to be caught by Hardman. And the Chiefs are going to be set up with a first and goal here as the tackle made at the nine. Seven yards on the pickup there, and now they'll have it first and goal. Well, they'll try the option on first and goal. And they're going to get him. They bring him down to the sack back at the 16-yard line. So that time, Charles, a quarterback helpless really in the pocket in the face of a pass rush like that. They were on him instantly. And it appears that this was just a letdown from the offensive line, but they do have a tough job because if you're a big tackle out there on the perimeter, sometimes you don't have the agility to keep up with the defensive end who's looking to wreak havoc in the backfield, and he got there and put his man on the ground. First down, a bit of a disaster, and now on second and goal, back even further. We're scoreless after one. With no score. The Chiefs with the football as we start the second quarter. As they come up now, second and goal. Working from the gun, Mahomes gets this one to Hill. And they'll bring him down at the 13-yard line. Only three yards there on the completion. That'll lead to a third and goal. Well, if you do read man coverage, Brandon, the drag route's a pretty good one to run against it because you're running away from people on it. Third and goal, and still a long way from the end zone. Shotgun snap to Mahomes. And he takes this into the end zone for a Chiefs touchdown. Tyreek Hill, his fourth touchdown on the year. And they are able to strike first here on their opening drive. Here we go, take it off. Swear on it. Take it. Harrison Butker is on for the extra point. kick is good to make it 7-0 KC. So that drive in total eight plays. And it's capped off with a Kansas City touchdown. Harrison. Now after the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. And he'll get it up past the 20 to about the 22. First and 10 at their own 22-yard line. Baltimore set to take over here for their second possession of the game. They'll be looking to match that touchdown from a moment ago. 7-0 is the score as they begin with a first down. And they'll run the option to start the drive. And he's going to get this one across the 30-yard line. They went three and out on their first drive. Things already looking better here, first and 10. This is something that we've seen from Lamar Jackson since back in his Louisville days. He can be so dangerous with the RPO. Yeah, and whoever designed the RPOs, it's almost like they had a guy like Lamar Jackson in mind because of his ability to do everything. He can tuck it and throw it. He can tuck it and run it. He can hand it off inside when he gets the right read. Bottom line is, most teams want him to hand it off because when he takes off and goes, he can break down a defense. Found a little room there as he's up to about the 37. Call it a gain of four on first, and that'll make it second down. 
Well, on every play call, you realize it's not going to go for a touchdown. So a lot of your calls are setting things up for maybe later in the game, trying to establish the inside run, run with toughness now, hopefully get to the perimeter later. And let's face it, you could do worse than a four-yard run on first down. And he's taken down, a chief sack. Well, Lamar Jackson, for all the talents of escaping pressure that he possesses, he was helpless to do much of anything there. He had no chance. Yeah, that's one where you turn to your lineman and say, uh, guys, can I get a little help here? And you have to ask politely, because remember, they're blocking for you the entire game. But as a quarterback, you've also got to have the clock running in your head when you need to get rid of the football. But this time, he had no chance. They were on him instantly. Now after that sack, it's third and long for Jackson and the Ravens. From the gun, Jackson. Catch is made by Marquise Brown. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. Give him 22 there on the third down conversion. Barney, you know when we call it game, we talk about Lamar Jackson and his speed, his elusiveness, and the ability to get him on the ground, how tough that is for a defense. But how about his development as a thrower, as a professional? So now first and 10 in Chiefs territory at the 49-yard line. Jackson from the shotgun. Wide open receiver complete. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. Getting it to him in space pays off big time. That winds up going for 31 for an offense that has not found the end zone yet. That's a big play. There's the spark right there. The big play that they needed. Now they've got to go ahead and finish this drive and put this ball in the end zone. So from the 17 now, here's a first and 10. Two minutes on the clock, second quarter, 7-0 ball game. So from the 17 now, here's a first and 10. From the gun, it's Jackson. Bryant with a catch right side. And the Ravens are going to have a first and goal as he'll be taken down at the seven-yard line. This game not quite as good as the last, but still over 40 yards between the two. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. Mark Andrews, a first-time pro bowler, the intended target. But it'll be second and goal. Not only did he have a chance to scan the field there, it felt like he had a chance to scan it twice. The protection was that good. Unfortunately for him, the coverage downfield, equally good. All that gets him is just a yard, and now it's third down. One yard on the play. It's now third operating from the gun. Jackson, that's into the hands of Edwards. The Chiefs will use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with a tick under a minute to go before half. So on fourth down, here's the Ravens Pro Bowl kicker, Justin Tucker, out onto the field. From the left hash, a chip shot here. Tucker's kick is good. And they are on the board, but still trailing. It's 7-3. So they do get the three points before they hit halftime. Something to build on, maybe. Yeah, go ahead and raise the banner, right? The wave the flag. That's good. Got points. And now, as you said, they got something to build on as they get ready for the second half. And Hardman going to go ahead and sit on this one as it'll come out to the 25. Kansas City taking the field for their second drive. You're under a minute to go here in the half. Field position not really in your favor, but still time to try and move the ball and get in field goal range. Yeah, you've got the lead. It's a, definitely a thought let's go ahead and try and increase it but at the same time I don't like the odds I don't like where they are on the field got the lead they've done well in the first half don't mess it up and go into halftime looking at each other wondering what if and they get him down but not before he takes it across the 40 yard line now another timeout called for by the offense as they get the stoppage with just under 50 seconds remaining in half number one First and ten, here's Mahomes. And he'll get this underneath to Bell. Not much there, only a yard. All defenses worry that whenever anyone catches the ball and has a head of steam come out of the backfield, it could turn into a big play with missed tackles or he runs through people. But they were right there waiting, and they stopped him for a minimal gain. Completes it to Hardman. 
And he's going to be taken down with the first down at the Ravens 28. A really good pickup of 28 yards. Kansas City. Timeout signaled for, and they'll get it with 10 seconds to go before halftime. So even though it's first down, here's the field goal unit on now to try to get three before halftime. From the right hash, this from 45 yards away. Butker's kick here is good. And they push the lead up to a touchdown now at 10-3. So a big play before the end of the half to get him into this spot, and they cash in with three. How about the one-two to the solar plexus on that one? The big play, the field goal, not much time left on the clock. That's the way to go into the half. No reason to do anything foolish as they'll snap it one more time on first down. All that remains is to snap this once, and that'll do it for the first half of play. So we have reached halftime with a touchdown. That's the difference on the scoreboard. As we'll get you down the coast to Orlando for Jonathan Coachman and our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. Okay, Brandon, thanks very much. Welcome in, everyone, to our EA Sports Halftime Report. Let's get you caught up on what's going on around the NFL. We'll get our tour started out at Venerable Soldier Field in Chicago. And those two are tied up as they play the second quarter. Next, we head off to check out another game. And you can see they are scoreless as they play the second quarter. Lastly, let's check on one final game for you. And you can see they are scoreless as they play the second quarter. Meanwhile, in our game, it's been a defensive struggle. Which offense can break through in the second half? To find out, let's hand it over to our broadcast team of Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. Okay, Coach, appreciate it. A one-touchdown game here as we get set to resume play in the second half. Here's me, Cole Hardman. A solid return, pretty good field position. They'll start at the 32. So here are the Chiefs to take over. They've won two straight, and they lead this one as well as they come up on first and 10. Second half starts with a carry by Bell. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. Give him 10 yards there, and about by the nose of the football, he's going to have a first down. That's good tough running right up the middle. If the defense can't penetrate and make him slow his pace or change direction, that's often the end result. First down is Mahomes. Quick hitter here, it's complete. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. An 11-yard pickup, and it's enough for a Chiefs first down. Nice job there of utilizing his big target. He didn't overthink it. Understands the catch radius. Understands that he knows how to use his body to keep defenders away from the ball. And puts it right out there for the nice pickup. They go play fake. Mahomes. They're going deep for Hill. This is caught inside the 15. And he gets this one inside the 15, just a yard or two shy of the 10. Over 30 yards there. And first downs on three consecutive plays now. Well, that certainly made you think back to last year's Super Bowl because it was these two, Patrick Mahomes and Tyreek Hill. They connected on a play not all that much different from this one that really turned the tide in that ball game. So how about this for field position after the big play? Inside the 15 now as they come up on first and 10. 
Now here's Mahomes. This will be caught at about the five. And he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. Give him nine there on the first down completion. I know it's a little bit of a cliche to talk about all the tight ends who are really wide receivers in the NFL, but Travis Kelsey fits that perfectly. He led all tight ends last season with over 1,200 yards receiving, fourth in the NFL. I think he's one of the gold standards in the league for the tight end. And he will take it on in for a Chiefs touchdown. Le'Veon Bell, his second touchdown on the season. And the Chiefs are able to extend their lead. That almost looked too easy, and I think thanks goes to the offensive line for making it look easy. Yeah, I agree with you totally on that one. I'm not sure how much everyone understands the preparations that go into a game for an offensive line because there's a reason that running backs and quarterbacks give them big gifts at the end of the season after a big year. The consistency and the continuity it takes to know each other and execute their blocks is pretty impressive. It's up and good, and that makes it 17-3. The drive summary that time, five plays, and it ends with a Le'Veon Bell touchdown run. Now after the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. This will make it into the end zone. And this will not be brought out. It's a touchback. The Ravens offense getting ready now for their first possession of the second half. And their halftime hole now even deeper. And they need a big drive here just to answer the first touchdown of the second half scored against them. They were down at the half. Now, as you mentioned, they're down a little bit bigger, but no time for discouragement. Just got to get back to it, right? Put your shoulder against the boulder and start pushing and try and get back to where you were to start the half. The throw here to Andrews, the tight end. And he'll be out of bounds, but able to get it up past the 45. A good pick up there, 21 yards. Good catch there by Mark Andrews, who was Lamar Jackson's favorite target last year. They came in in the same draft class and quickly got in sync with each other. Andrews led the team in receptions with 64 last year for 852 yards en route to his first Pro Bowl. Jackson going to look to do it himself. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. 15 more yards there and quickly another first down. I'll tell you, there is no antidote for speed, even at the quarterback position, as he keeps it himself and turns it into good yardage. And it still takes time for a defender to react, even as quarterbacks carry the ball more and more in today's NFL. They're still a little bit in disbelief and realize, oh my goodness, he's running with the ball. He may be 8, 10, 12 yards downfield at that point. But they run the option as Jackson will hand it to Ingram. And he's going to get this inside the 30. 11 more on that one and another first down. On that last run, he's now hit the 6,000-yard mark for rushing yards in his career. And moves him squarely into the top 100 rushers of all time. In fact, he can boast that he's rushed for over 1,000 yards more than Gale Sayers did in his career. And Gale Sayers was a Hall of Famer in a short career. Still in search of their first touchdown of the game, but they're on the move. First and 10. They run with Edwards, and he'll get about four as he's brought down at the 24. Following the pickup of four, here's second and six. A gain of four. It's now second and six at the Chiefs' 24. Again, it's Edwards. And he'll be taken down near the 20 at the 21. That's Edwards. Taco Charlton on the stop. That's a gain of three. Brings up third and three. And that is going to do it for this third quarter of action. You are watching the NFL on EA Sports. The Ravens on third down. Just one for three thus far. Here it's third and three. From the gun, Jackson. And he will find his man on the end route, complete. And he will have a Ravens first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Give him 10 yards there as this offense is on a roll. This drive continues. Forward.
yards now on first and ten. And here he'll get it down to the seven. They give him four yards there. It'll be second and six. Four yards on the pickup. Second and six. Now it's Jackson. Dancing to his left. And he takes this down to about the two before going out of bounds. He'll end up getting five out of that, but now they're looking at third down. And this one will wind up with him losing yardage. Back to the four-yard line. Not at all what they envisioned on third down. Three yards in the wrong direction. They're going on fourth down. It's Jackson. And this is going to be intercepted. Picked up by the Honey Badger, Tyron Matthew. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. Mahomes will lead the Chiefs up first and 10 at their own 20-yard line. So after the INT, here's Mahomes eluding the pressure right. And he's got his man out of the backfield. That's complete. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down second and right at a yard. Clock continuing to run. They'll probably wind this all the way before snapping it on second down. On the move to his left. Now he'll throw deep. And that's caught inside the 35. And he will take it on in for a Chiefs touchdown. A big play there with his first career NFL touchdown. And the Chiefs add on to their lead. For as big and strong as some of these guys are, especially when you see them in full pads, it is sometimes hard to appreciate how truly fast they can move. That was incredible. Well, in this league where coordinators worry so much about drawing up the right routes, blocking assignments, misdirections and stuff, they have these precise arrows and movements. Sometimes the best plays just come from the schoolyard where you look at your fastest guy and say, Go long. Go get it, big man. And according to Next Gen Stats, his top speed on that one, better than 20 miles an hour. And the lead now to three touchdowns at 21 points. The quick strike ability certainly intact there. Two plays, 80 yards to score it. Harrison Butker to kick off for Kansas City. Now after the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. Taking it about the one. And he brings this out past the 20 to the 24. At their own 24 yard line. The Baltimore offense at the line set to get going. Their mini two-game win streak appears it might be going by the wayside unless they can pull a rabbit out of their hat. a yard or two taken down behind the line frank clark able to drop in that time for his second sack of the evening many coaches never pull their starting quarterback almost no matter the situation in this case though i think he's got to make a decision he's taking a pretty good beating out there yeah with the deficit maybe not wanting to risk an injury Jackson hit, and he lost the football. And the offense will cover this one up, but they'll be pushed back inside their own 10. The good news, they kept the ball. Bad news, it's third and long. Just two minutes remaining here in the fourth quarter of what has been a one-sided affair. So danger averted for the moment, but now here's a third and long. Operating from the gun. Jackson. Now a desperation throw deep downfield. And that will be incomplete. Well, they weren't scared to let it fly, but it falls to the ground and brings up fourth down. What we've seen so far in this game, they are not going to allow a big shot over the top. You can have whatever you want underneath. They'll give you that, but they're not going to let you beat them deep. And he'll take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. A very nice job on the run back there. He'll get 23 yards all told. And the Chiefs will have excellent field position here as they take over. They'll start with the option. And that play goes nowhere. Taken down, losing yardage at the 50 right at midfield. It was Matt Judon that time who worked his way in to blow that play up. On second down, it's Bell. Oh, he sheds himself free. 
It's a pickup of 12, and that'll set up a third down. So from second and long, now we go to third and very manageable. Yeah, they love that phrase, don't they? Because as an offensive coordinator, you can keep people a little bit off balance in guessing because you don't have to throw it. You can come back with a strong run game if you want to. And if you're in four down territory, that really opens things up for you. It's a gain of three, and it gets in the first. I haven't met a football team yet that runs the ball successfully that doesn't talk about having an attitude to be a running football team, right? You gotta be able to put your nose in there, smell where the first down sticks are, and get there. Nine yards is the pick up there, and they'll have a second and one. At the 26 yard line. Now a draw play. This is Bell. And oh, he sheds a tackle. Now he's got some space. And he'll be brought down at the 21, just shy of the 20 in the red zone. So this one in the win column for Kansas City. And it was their defense that really made the statement after the break. They pitched the second half shutout. Yeah, think about the team that just got vanquished. They did score in the second quarter. Do you think they thought at all that that would be their last point of the game? No, I, but what a second half. The adjustment, whatever they did in the locker room, it certainly worked. It certainly did, and you're exactly right. Whether it was an adjustment, whether it was just more focus on what they planned to do going in, whether they just played better, whatever it was, it all came together in the second half, and no points were allowed. That's a great way to close them out. So for the Chiefs, it's an ideal start as they move to 3-0 now on the young season. And they'll return home next week to take on the New England Patriots. Meanwhile, for the Ravens, they suffer defeat for the first time as they drop to 2-1. And, and they'll try to rebound next week on the road in Washington. Thanks for tuning in, everybody. Alongside Charles Davis, we thank our entire crew. I'm Brandon Gordon. This is the NFL on EA Sports.